Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my April budget plan with me for you guys. I got a bunch of stuff here that I will be using. So I am going to be using this um, Erin Condren sticker book. I believe this was their very first one, but it's the classic collection. I've had this for, for so, so long and I'm finally getting use out of it with doing budget plan with me. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I also have some stickers here from Erin Condren as well. Um, this came in the Petite Planner, the Grateful Book, I believe is what that is. This came in the back, so I'm going to use just some of the stickers here. Um, this is an Erin Condren, like the metallic, so it has like the months and stuff like that. So I'm going to use the April, and I think that's all I'm going to use on this sheet here. And then this is the sticker kit I'm using from Erin Condren. I love this, like, deco so much. It's actually the same um, deco for the cover that I'm using. I just love it and I liked the purple in it and I don't know, I feel like these were like springy colors so it'd be perfect for April. I'm just like hoping Erin Condren will come out with a blanket like their Sherpa throws. I've been dying for one of their Sherpa throws. They're so comfortable and cozy and soft, but I want this print. So come on Erin Condren, do this print for me, please. But anyways, I'll be using this. And I'm not using this whole thing here. I am just using the stickers right here, the paydays here, this, and then some of these, um, $2 Tuesday here from Beautiful Planning. Um, and these here are just stickers that I've made. I go between these stickers here and, and I put them on my monthly, which is actually what we're gonna do now. Um, I use Stephanie's, which is Beautiful Planning, um, or I use my own if like, I can't find colors that she has to like match. So anyways, I just use my own just to like manipulate the colors and I try to do the colors as close to this purple as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead with the monthly. As I'm filming this right now, what is today? March, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 26th, 27th, 27th, sorry guys. So I know typically with my bill dues, I'm able to tell you the exact due dates of my bill dues and like the exact money owed on my bills, but my Cox, which is my cable, internet, and TV. I'm saying C-O-X. I know sometimes when I say it, people are like, oh, I thought you said something else. No. <laughs> I don't pay for that. I get that for free. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so that bill definitely changed up on me for the month of March. Um, the That bill used to be in my name, and we went and put it in my father-in-law's name. If you're not aware, my husband and I do live with my in-laws. So um, it was in my name as soon as we moved here. So we've been here for just over a year. Uh, it was a year in February. Um, so actually on my birthday, it was one year, February 19th, which is so crazy. So anyways, um, yeah, we switched everything into my name and I don't know if you watched my news resolutions video, maybe it's, or my any of my vlogs, maybe it's your first time to my channel, well welcome, um, but um, we have said that we would, um, want, well, we want to move. Um, so hopefully we get to move and we're actually hoping to be moving to Dallas, Texas, um, with the job or the company that my husband works for. There's a couple of jobs that he wants, but their headquarters are in Dallas. So that's where we would need to move. And I'm really hoping we do get to move. So anyways, we're hoping and praying, obviously it all depends on job openings and financials and that's another huge reason why I wanted to start doing budget plan with me is just budgeting in general. Um, so um, we were like, you know what, um, in case we do get to move this year to Dallas or anywhere, depending on opportunity and jobs, um, let's just put it in his dad's name now since we already met our year like well, it's not really a contract but since we've already had it for a year in my name just in case we do have to move if something happens quick we don't have to scramble to like get that done off of our to-do list if that makes sense so anyways since we changed it into his dad's name they changed the due date on us um and man i had to pay for like that bill twice so i paid like normally the bill's like 214 when i was paying it well ever since we changed that up um Oh, I was like not happy about that. I had to pay like, what did I pay? 70 something dollars for like, God, I guess cause I had it in my name for, I don't know, like 10 days or something like that. And then I'm still gonna pay it, the bill, even though it's in his father's name. It was like 2-0 something. And that was, I just paid, well that's due on March 29th, but I paid it like a week ago. And I'm just like, man, and we know it's not like, 
mistake his father like or his father one of his best friends actually works for cox so he called him and was like yo is this right and it it's right i mean he explained it to him and it made sense when he explained it but then sometimes i think about it and i'm like it doesn't make sense to me sometimes still when i think about it but uh it is what it is so um yeah so i mean this month the bill i'm not, obviously not gonna have to pay it twice and i'm not gonna be paying like three hundred dollars it should only be like two like 210 or something like that is what he said but i guess just with like their billing cycles and stuff like that i don't know it's just really weird so i don't know when i'm going to be paying that um and then also my car insurance bill my usaa that is um that changes every month so i don't want to mark it until i know the exact date that it's due but i just checked and it hasn't been posted yet um when are my paydays the 30th so one two so sorry i had to double check my paydays because i switched from um two set paydays to now i am bi-weekly so the these paydays i put down here are my husband paydays i've said it before but in case i have anyone new watching my husband and i do have separate bank accounts um that's just how we've always done it it works for us so you know we don't want to switch it up now and um my paychecks are now every other week where they used to be on the 15th and the last day of the month so this will be april will be my second month doing that sort of pay structure so the dark purple can you tell it's dark purple yeah on camera you can tell dark purple is me and the light purple is my husband so um even though i don't track my husband's like pay like how much he gets paid and we have separate accounts i still like to just put it here just so i don't know just so i can i guess look at it and know so the next thing I put on this page, oh, I also put credit score. I forgot to put this down in my March budget plan with me, but on my credit score, I have Credit Karma, which is actually a free app. I check it every single month. I write down, is it the Equifax and the TransUnion score? How many credit cards? You know, because I just want to make sure that, you know, credit cards are getting opened in my name, you know, fraud. So I just track that. And then I track like open accounts. So like, for instance, our um honda and i write like how much is left to be paid off on that um we do have the honda in both of our names but that is a payment that my husband does make so i actually don't make it um he does but i still like to track it and i'm actually going to put that sticker down right now so that bill is always due on the 13th but like i said he pays it but i still like to just mark it just because you know my name is on it um, and then the next bill that I would have due is my Capital One, which is due on the 15th. But I'm so excited. I don't know any money on that. So I haven't charged it. And I didn't use it at all last month either in March. So I was really proud of myself trying to, you know, get on the whole like Dave Ramsey thing. And I'm still a beginner at budgeting and the whole Dave Ramsey process. But I'm, you know, trying to do my best. And then my next credit card is my American Express, which is due on the 17th. And the I do have uh, charges on there because of my, um, I have a Massage Envy membership, so that gets charged on my American Express. I was thinking of changing it to my debit card. That way it goes out of my debit and so it doesn't go onto a credit card. And then I also have, I had to travel for a work meeting in March, I, so I put everything on my American Express and then I turn in the receipts and then I get reimbursed, which I already got reimbursed for. So in a way that bills kind of only the 60 bucks for the massage membership since I already got reimbursed, if that makes sense. So in the last two circles I have is a car for my insurance, like circles like these, and then like this internet, I don't even know, it's so small, I don't even know if you guys are gonna see that. So that for the um, Cox, and then this will be for my car insurance. Once I know the exact dates, I just checked it before filming, but the dates haven't been posted. Oh, getting blurry, sorry guys. There you go. Um, but I will just have to fill it in off camera. So sorry, you won't get to see that. But it's just little things. I'm sure y'all will not mind. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead then and move on to my cash envelope page. Um, I don't know all of my numbers exactly yet for my cash envelopes, like how I did for um, March. But so far, I'm doing really good. We ate out a little bit more than what we normally have the past couple months, but we have done really awesome on grocery and have not actually gone over, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna use these colors here. I already marked next to them, like which colors I wanted to use to, you know, pre-plan, because pre-planning is so helpful. So I'm literally just going to put these at the top. Um, whoops. I do love the Erin Condren stickers because they peel up 
so easy. It's like removable. Um, okay, but clearly I cannot align stuff up. And do you guys see I have finally have white poster board again? I'm gonna have to scoot this oh, a little bit closer to me. I'm sorry guys. I don't know, if you watch my plan with me video, then you would have seen I have the poster board back and Monday's plan with me. If all goes well, this video should be up tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I feel like I want that to go over more, but I don't know why I can't do it. Hold on, let me try this upside down, y'all, because I don't know what my problem is. Oh no, maybe I don't, maybe I do want it like, okay, no. I want it, well, I guess no matter what I do, you're gonna see a little bit of that box. But honestly, Brittany, does it really matter? I know, if you're new to my channel, then you'll probably know I'm a bit picky, just a tiny bit about sticker placement and stuff like that. So I hope that doesn't drive you too nuts. Hopefully not. But all right, I'm just gonna try to line these up with the top line the best that I can. Not too crooked. My daughter is currently at T-ball practice. She has practice at 5.30 and I got off of work at 5.30. So T-ball practice is an hour. So I was like, you know what? This is still gonna be the perfect time for me to film. Wednesday is the only day off that my husband and I have together. So that's like our family time. So I was like, you know what? I don't wanna take away however long this is gonna take me to film um, from, you know, like family time tomorrow. So I was like, let me get this done while she's at t-ball practice. So, hopefully I can get this done enough time. And it also works out good because my daughter does pop in here from time to time when I'm filming, which is totally fine, but sometimes it could take me longer to film when that happens or I can get like distracted and stuff like that. So, I should have no distractions. Okay, and then I just have the last one here. I picked these colors, um, because I didn't have all purple ones, but I picked them because they kind of match the colors on the donut, so. Which you guys should see once I have all of that put down. Okay, so, stay down please. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this book, but I am gonna keep it off to the side just in case I need it. Now I'm going to be using my $2 Tuesday stickers from Beautiful Planning. So, oops, everything's falling on top of me. Okay. So I am going to use the top one. I just mark as grocery and I just like to put the little characters right here. Not that it's necessarily needed. I just, I don't know. I just think it's cute. You don't even need stickers at all. Honestly, to do a budget, there's no really point to it other than I just like to make it a little decorative because I feel like if it's decorative, I will want to like utilize a little bit more. Do I need to zoom in for you guys? Let me see. Is that a little bit better if I zoom in? Okay. Um, comment down below and let me know if you like it a little bit more zoomed in or if you like the full overview look. Um, but okay, so for here, it's gonna be grocery. I'm gonna put it at 350 again, just in case. But um, so far, like I said, I don't even think we've spent 200, which is like, what? But I'm happy about that. So eating out. I give us a budget of $100. Now I call these my cash envelopes. I do not actually go to the ATM and take cash out and like pay with cash. I do do it on my debit card. Um, and I just move everything into, um, actually I don't move anything over. Do I move anything over for this? No, I don't. I just leave it as is and then I just keep track of it as it just comes out of my debit card. Um, so eating out, I have this cute little unicorn Holding pizza, which is perfect because I could eat pizza all day, every day. And then um, the next one is family time. And I give myself $100 for family time. And we actually did family time last month. We went to John's Incredible Pizza, but I had coupons. So I only spent $6.44. And John's Incredible Pizza is like a Chuck E. Cheese, but on crack. It is massive. Why is this not 
popping up for me. Here we go. Um, and it's really nice too because it's buffet, so you get a lot more food. I vlogged about it. If you watch my vlogs, you would have seen it. We well, we've gone plenty of times. So, but I'm just using a sloth holding a heart. And again, these are all two dollar Tuesdays, like little like character icons from Beautiful Planning. I will link her down below if you guys want to check her out. She's my go-to. I use all of my printable stickers from her, and I just like love her stuff. And in case you're interested, I have a coupon code too. It's Brittany15. So you can save that and save 15% off, no minimum. And then for me time, I put $50. I didn't do any me time for March. I mean, I guess I still kind of could, but I haven't done it yet. And I'm just gonna use a bath sticker and it's a sloth and a bath because I feel like that's perfect for me time. Um, and then the last category is just miscellaneous, which I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, I'm not gonna do it as a cash envelope anymore just because I wanna see what I am purchasing throughout the month and I just like like to keep track of it and then what I do in this section here oh I have let me put down my little unicorn flipping money everywhere because that's miscellaneous right um, I can show you real quick one of my pages from March just so you can get an idea um, but this is what it looks like so I just write down the day how much I spent and like where I spent it at and then right here I wrote chips because we don't go there a lot so I was like okay what did I spend $14 on we had like a, a munchy craving for some chips and hot sauce and stuff like that so anyways um but yeah so I just like write down and then at the end of the month I will just write the total and then you know that's I'll know how much I spent and this is what I did for miscellaneous so like I know how much like miscellaneous charges I'm making if that makes sense but yeah so that's kind of what it looks like as it gets filled in so let me go back all right so for now this is what this is going to look like until april starts and i start you know buying things it's gonna stay pretty blank so i will go ahead and flip over so this is gonna be like kind of where i break everything down and kind of track everything i'm definitely going to need my this is my black pilot friction these are erasable pens i love these pens i have a link to them in the video or in the description of this video if you want to check them out um it's a 24 pack and it's great you get multicolor, and i just like them because they're erasable i did a lot of erasing last month because of the whole like cox thing i got just like super confused about that um but let me move these off to the side and then this is where this sticker sheet will pretty much come in to play. So I just need one of these and they are exactly the same if I'm, yeah, they're literally exactly the same. Sometimes they're a little bit different on these two. So I just wanted to look at it just in case. So I'm just gonna line this up with the line here. So the one, the one line after the first dot. So it only covers the one dot and it covers up this purple bar, which I'm okay with. So, and if you have any questions, comments, um, so far or at any point in the video, definitely comment down below, ask them, let me know. I will try to answer them the best that I can or explain myself a little better um, in anything. And then I'm just gonna put the silver for the purple think that's cute so I'm just gonna put this right there and hopefully that's straight enough that's cute I like that it's like foil too and then now this is done okay so now I'm gonna work on this side here over here is where I like to write out my bills um but like I said it's it's going to be a little bit different this month because I don't know Cox or my car insurance, the dates or the totals. Usually I already know the totals and I have it all calculated out, but you won't get to see it this month for right now. Um, let me bring this post-it note a little bit closer to me here. So last month, since I didn't have my capital one bill, it was zero. I paid the Costco bill. Um, we, we shop at Costco regularly for our groceries. I don't know if my husband is going to want me to pay half of it not pay it you know we're trying to like split up our bills a little bit more evenly between us so i'm gonna write costco down anyways um i think it's due typically on the second of the month like i said last month was only my first time paying it and he just took it out of my um 
checking account. So I need to ask him. If I don't pay anything, I'll just write $0, but I'm just going to write it there just in case. Um, and then Capital One, even though I don't owe any money to them, I still want to write it down just you know, to have it there. And I owe zero dollars, which makes me so happy. And then I'm just going to put in parentheses that it's due on the 15th, even though no money is due to them. I just still like to have it. And then also what I do whenever I pay the bill and I, I put on the second line. So like next to how much is owed, I will put in red pen, the date that I um, paid it. And then I will check it off. Um, I just think like the red, like contrast, so I can like look at it and be like, yeah, I did it. Um, okay. So then after the Capital One bill, and I like to do them in numeric order or like date order for like when they're due, um, just to be a little bit more organized. So the next bill is my Amex, which is the 17th. And I owe 227.13, but kind of in a way, it's really only $60 because I already got reimbursed for my business trip, but that's all good. And then um, my USAA and then Cox. But again, I do not know those exact totals yet. Um, so that post-it note is done. So then USAA, Cox. So then I'm just going to write here. I like to write total, but I like to put a sticker right here so I can just like, boom, like have my eyes focused directly on like that sticker. I don't know. That might not help some people, but for me, it, it just kind of does. Like, I feel like it, it really sticks out and helps me like, I can just look right at it. So I'm going to do a pink one and it is coming off of this sticker. I like the, um, exclamation point sorry I'm like drawing a blank I don't know I just thought it was kind of cool it's like boom look at me you know so I'm gonna put it right there oh my hand itches sorry guys um and then I'm just gonna write total and then I will write the total right there so I feel like that's pretty straightforward, but I'm just sorry I can't have those totals for you guys. Um, but anyways, so that's that, um, like my bill sidebar, I guess you would say. So then over here, this is where we're going to work on incoming, outgoing, and like the savings type area. So um, for incoming, again, I'm only going to write my stuff and I'm going to use these like little flags here. Um, they're super cute. I wish all of them looked like donuts, but I'm, it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this first donut and just put it. Uh, oh gosh, come here. And I'm obsessed with donuts, you guys. I love them so much. Actually, do I want this? Hold on, you guys. Where did I put this last month? Because... That looks funny. I have to check myself. Yeah, I did give a little bit of space. Okay, I didn't line it up on the line. It just seemed like a huge gap. And I was like, wait, that just seemed... Oh, man, my camera's dying. Okay, you guys. I'm going to have to put this down. Okay, let me just write this in. So I'm going to put this down. And I'm just going to write up here... Incoming. Oh, please don't die on me, battery. So I'm going to put up here paycheck one, paycheck two, and then add. I'm back with a fresh battery, so we are good, you guys. So that's it for the incoming section. Pretty small. Um, so I'm just taking this sheet again from Erin Condren and I'm using the pink kind of like washi type strip and I am just going to put a space between and it fits in perfectly between the lines and in case anyone's wondering, I don't know if I've said this, um, recently anyways i feel like i said it in my very first budget plan with me but um i am using the deluxe the erin condren deluxe monthly planner everything that i use in my budget plan with me if i have a link to it i will link it in the description so i will link the actual 
book I'm using, the monthly planner, I'll link the sticker sheets. This is a slice tool, I'll link that. Um, the pens, so anything you see in any of my, my um, budget plan with me's, I do try to put links if I can find them on the internet in the description box. Um, I am awful with the slice tool, so don't judge me too hard. There are some people that make this slice tool look so easy to use, and I am not one of them. I am just ungodly awful at it, and I feel like whenever I cut, I don't cut deep enough, and ugh. I cut like crooked and it just looks bad. So I'm hoping I do a good job, but maybe, you know, like they say, practice makes perfect. So, okay, so that's there. Let me put this cap back on because I am not trying to cut myself. Just set that to a side till I need the next one. And then I'm gonna get to the next flag. I'm just gonna use this one, just kind of go in order. And I'm just gonna have them like rotate. I don't know, I just like that look, so. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put it. Like so. And then I am going to write outgoing. Hopefully I give myself enough space here so I'm not like writing on top, but they are erasable, so that's all good. Okay outgoing but I like the two dots so hold on <laughs> you know you guys probably think I'm nuts but I I am picky I warned you guys okay so outgoing so for outgoing um, it's just kind of like a running list if that makes sense so I want to write down my total bills so I'm just gonna write it off to the side here. I hope you guys can see. I have to tilt it crooked though for like the way I'm positioned so like I so I can write. So I'm gonna put total bills, which is the total number here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, the total number here is gonna go right there. So I kind of like write everything and multiple times you will notice this, but for me, I like to be able to see the same thing in multiple places. It just helps me and that's just like the type of person that I am. So. It might not work for you, but for me, I, I really like it like this. So then the cash envelopes. Which is going to be the total of everything I spend here. From the grocery, eat out, family time, and me time. So that's going to be that grand total there. And I tally everything up at the, probably the first of like May. That'll be that number. Then my 52 week, so I am doing the 52 week challenge, which is every week you save, oh, I need to fill that out, I need to go back to that monthly spread. So for one week you save a dollar, the next week is $2, the next week is $3. So every week you're doing that till the 52nd week and then you'll have about $1,300 I believe um, saved up. So I'm doing that, but I'm actually rotating it. Um, one of you guys actually commented and gave me that idea in my January budget video. So um, I think it was like one through five the first week and then you go backwards. So it's like a low number, a high number, a low number, a high number. I'll show you guys when I go back to that if, if I'm not making sense. That way at the end of the year, cause that's also Christmas time, I'm not putting, you know, $48, then 49, 50, 51 each week because that's, you know, a bigger chunk of change. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, I'll put that number for the month on what I'm adding into my 52 week savings. Then my sinking funds. And I, that will be another page we will go over. And then miscellaneous, which is going to be all my miscellaneous charges from this box here. And then finally, oh, erase, need my asterisk. Let's see here, what color do we want to use? Uh, why am I drawing a blank? I can't see them. Are they right in front of me, guys? And I just... Oh, here's a green one. Okay, I'm gonna need... How many more am I gonna need? I'm gonna need three, I think. 
I like this color. This color is pretty. Kind of goes. Okay. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this one right here. And then I'm going to write total. So this is going to be my total outgoing. So all of these five things right here. That's going to be my total. Okay. So that is it for looks a little light. Sorry. I wanted to fill that in. That's it for my outgoing section. So then I'm just going to take another washi strip here and that's just going to go right here. And I really hope all of this makes sense. This is my fourth budget plan with me. So I'm hoping that I'm getting better and improving, explaining myself and stuff like that. I have already made some adjustments on things, um, you know, and I know budgets are something that's always needing to change and stuff like that. So I feel like April, May will kind of be nice to see really how the numbers are because I feel like January was my daughter's birthday and February was my, and we went on vacation and then February is my birthday, Valentine's Day. March was like Easter pictures and stuff like that and buying Easter baskets. I mean, I know April 1st is Easter, but technically I don't have to spend any money for that because I already spent all that money in March, if that makes sense. So it'll be nice to kind of see Feel like april may because we're not really doing a whole lot or spending a whole lot well i say that but my husband needs eye surgery which is a whole other oh and our insurance doesn't cover it because it's considered preventative and not a medical necess necess necessity or something whatever i don't know it's all bs to me but anyways yeah so that's gonna be a huge a huge thing there but i mean you know they basically told him that, you know, there's a chance his cornea could burst. He has keratoconus, which is an eye disease. So it's like, yeah, we're going to get that done. It is um, going to be very expensive. Um, but, you know, you got to take care of your eyes. So you only got to. So, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. We're trying to get an appointment for as soon as possible. So. We shall see. So for my savings area, anyways, I am writing, I write the 52 week again because it is, you know, a savings. I put it for outgoing because it is money that's going out of my account into a savings account. So it's not money I get to spend. That's why I put it as an outgoing in case anyone's curious. Same with um, sinking funds. It's kind of a savings, but also at the same time, it is money that goes in and out. And it was kind of exciting. I don't know. I'm such a nerd. Like I actually got to use my sinking fund and like, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then like, it does, like seeking ones are so nice. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, so savings, I am going to write the 52 week because you know, that's what I am saving for. And I will put the total here. And then um, I am right now, I've already done my Dave Ramsey baby step one, which is a thousand ER fund. Last month I did say it wrong, the baby step number two. Um, I meant to say that I'm skipping baby step number two and I'm doing baby step three because the Dave Ramsey baby step two is the debt snowball and I don't have any debt. Um, I mean, yeah, I have a credit card, but I'm not paying minimum fees. I pay all my credit cards off at, I'm pointing to this in case you're wondering. Um, I pay all my credit cards off as soon as I get the bill. I don't ever pay an APR interest. There's like no way. Um, and I don't have to, so I'm not going to. Um, so I don't have debt. I mean, yeah, I do have my car payment, but my husband pays for that. My name is just on it, um, to get the car loan. So I don't ever pay for that. And then, um, yeah, I just don't have any debt. Um, I'm lucky, I guess with that. So I'm working on baby step number three, which is a three to six month emergency fund. I haven't put any money into that account yet or like that set up yet because I don't know how much money is going to be left over for March. So anyways, I just wanted to clarify that in last month's video because I did get one comment on that. So I wanted to clarify it and make sure I don't say it wrong in this video. So I'm just working on, I'm just going to put DR. Baby step 
three, which is the three to six months. And I just like to write it out. And then whatever I add into there, I will just put down there and keep like a, a running total, if that makes sense. Um, and then the last thing that I pretty much live, live, what am I talking about? Use off of this sticker or the sticker sheet here. These kind of don't stay down so good after you use them. Um, it's going to be this guy right here. And I like to write I for incoming. O for outgoing, so that's gonna be my total incoming, my total, oh, I forgot to write total. Jiminy Crickets, were you guys yelling at me? I forgot to write my total here. Oh no. I mean, I guess I could still just write it here. It's not the end of the world. However, I really like my spaces. Does that make sense? And I'm not going to be like erasing all of this because I don't know. I just feel like that's a lot to erase. Okay. Let me just write the total there because I knew I was like, wait a second. I know I use three of them and I will use this green one. See, I would have liked it like there. I don't know. I'm just going to put it right here, I guess. I don't really like that. I won't mess with it now on camera because you guys don't want to see that disaster that's about to happen. Um, anyway, so I put incoming and outgoing. Let's go back here. I am so mad at myself. Um, I always want these to like go so well. and You can only pre-plan so much. And then um, let me draw a line because yes, I'm not OCD. I need the line to be somewhat straight. And then I will put the total here. So I will subtract these the incoming versus the outgoing to see how much money I have left over. And hopefully, and then whatever with that money, I can put towards baby step number three, if that makes sense. Um, or I might actually have to put that money towards my husband's eye surgery. But anyways, I'm just going to put this at the bottom here. I just like to line it up with the bottom line just to add a little something. If I didn't already purchase sticker sheets for the entire like year like pre-planning this i would have honestly just used let me show you guys this is like nothing to do with the but well i guess kind of just this book here this is the designer sticker book the monthly collection edition three like this is perfect like everything you need i mean because you don't really need well any you don't need any of this but i would have totally just used this you know just these strips you even get the, like the the month up there i mean it's like seriously perfect so i'll link this down below too i mean i would use this instead of the sticker sheets but i already bought all the sticker sheets for the whole entire year of 2018 so i feel like i need to use them so i'm not being wasteful but let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see like the full effect in both pages Okay, so here's what they both look out in full. I really love the multicolor because it does actually look really good with the donuts. Okay, yay. So this is what it looks like out in full. Um, again, these numbers will all get filled in as the month of April goes on. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I did that. I'm so annoyed with myself. This is what it looks like anyways. Let's go back to this section here. Um, and I am going to just write in, I need my phone for a calculator. And I'll probably need to look at March. But um, so for this week, I'm doing like the higher numbers. So I'm actually starting at $48, I believe. Yeah, $48. Okay, so I'm going to put in $48. And then $47. Forty six, forty five, and then forty four. And I'm gonna get my calculator because I'm gonna equal like for every single week how much I will have in my fifty two week savings like account. I hope that makes sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and just calculate that up really quick here, and I'll show you too here. Where's my 
So as you can see here, so I put in $6 for the week of the 5th, and that gave me $223 into my savings account. Um, and that's, this is a separate savings account. I have like different ones. So this one, this savings account here for my 52 week challenge is all separate. So if that makes sense. And then $7 for the week of the 12th, which would give me 230 bucks. And then $8 for the week of the 19th. And then $9 for the week of the 26th. And now you can see it for April. I'm doing like the higher numbers starting at $48. So let me go quickly to my calculator later. So I ended up um, March with $247 in my 52 week savings account. So let me just calculate this up quickly. Oh, actually I need to go back to April. All right, 247. <laughs> Okay, so at the end of April, I will have $477 into my 52 week savings account, which is exciting. And since I already know that grand total, I'm gonna hop over here. And for my grand total in there, I would write 477. And then for over here for outgoing, I would just add the 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, and just write that right here. Um, so yeah, so if that kind of makes sense. So that is what this page is going to look like. Also over here, I do write um, things for the month, like major things that are going to happen to like remember. So like for March, for instance, I wrote down um, Disneyland. Even though we didn't go, we might, we were hoping to go in March. And then I also wrote down Easter basket, cause obviously Easter basket, Easter bunny pictures, things like that. So like, um, major things that are i'm going to be paying for so if that makes sense so for april um, i'm going to write disneyland again we're hoping we because we haven't gone we have yearly passes and we you know we want to get that full advantage so disneyland i'm gonna put down his eye surgery because hey you never know if we get it that month but that's all that we really like would have like major things to have to um, pay for. It's just those two things. So that is basically the monthly view, my cash envelope set up, and then my like incoming outgoing savings, bill overview, all of that. I love this, this is so colorful. Okay, I'm loving the way that this looks. Okay, now going to the front here, this little dot grid is going to be my sinking funds. So let me go ahead, draw my grid, and then I can go over all of that with you guys. This is my sinking funds. If you're wondering about the extra spaces here, it is because I, I said this last month too, and this is March, this is now. Um, I swear there was other stuff that I wanted to add to a sinking fund and I couldn't remember. I know now that I am going to add medical and some of you might be thinking, well, duh, why did you never add medical before? And here's why. We've never really had medical bills and or expenses. Um, with my, um, we do my medical insurance, we get it through my job. And my job gives us something called health rewards, which is free money that goes into a self, a health savings account, so an HSA. So that goes into the HSA card. So if I ever had to pay for glasses or contacts or anything extra medical wise, I would use the HSA card. And it's essentially like, free money. I mean, I just have to do stuff that my company says I need to do health wise. And if I do those things or meet certain things, like I have to get my cholesterol checked. If I meet that, then it's good. Um, there's a couple other things that they do. Um, but if I meet those things then I get an X amount of dollars and you have a maximum of each year to earn I can't remember what it was last year, but they changed some of the ways to get the health rewards. But for instance, if I get a physical, like an annual physical, I get $200 and an annual physical is covered 100% from my health insurance. So that's 200 bucks that goes into my HSA card that is basically free money. I can only use it for, you know, medical expenses. But anyways, I have a lot, not a lot, lot, but a good chunk of money saved in there. Um, so if anything ever arose that my insurance didn't cover 100%, I would just use the HSA card. So I never really thought we would need a separate 
like savings account for medical or a sinking fund, for instance, for medical. Um, I don't put money into my HSA. Well, I know you can. It's supposed to give like tax benefits, stuff like that. I'm not like the smartest when it comes to like tax breaks and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure I could figure it out, but I was just like, eh, I'm not going to put money into it. I guess maybe now I should have, but it's all good. Whatever. Um, that's just kind of like a brief thing there. I am going to add medical here. However, I do not know how much money I'm going to add for medical um, just because I don't know. But I like the idea of just like that HSA card being on its own, the my health rewards, free money from work, and then I'll just make a medical sinking fund. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying. You guys might be thinking like, no, you should be adding money from your check into there. Don't do a medical sinking fund. I don't know, but I don't know. That's just what I'm going to do. I don't know the exact money yet. I think at the end of April when I know what my money left over is, that's what I'll decide to add for this area. But anyways, let me just show you what I did for March because I actually took money out. Um, so this is how it looked um, for March. And I made a little chart here because I actually took money out. I'm going to be taking money out again. I need to get my dog's anal glands. I know it's gross, but if you own a dog, then you feel me. But I need to get her anal glands exposed. I need to get her nails um, trimmed. So it's going to be coming out of the Wiggles Fund because that's my dog's name. Um, so anyways, I got her off of Amazon flea treats and a floor cleaner. So that was $30.86. And then I also got an oil change for my other car, and that was $55.09. So, um, I don't think anything else is going to happen for the car, but you never know. Um, but whenever, say nothing else happens with the car, then in the minus section right here, I would write $55.09. And then I guess I would take the $84, because that's what my uh, beginning March balance was. I added $42 into that sinking fund, so $84 plus $42. And then that number between those two minus the 5509 would be what my end balance is. So that's what I would do, calculate each one. Hope that makes sense, um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys since I actually got to utilize my sinking fund. Um, so anyways, my Disney annual pass holder, I will not be taking money out of that sinking fund until August. So that end balance is 438. So that end balance there, I am going to move to my start balance for April. So that was 438 and then every month I deposit 146 and um, I am doing this for three annual passes myself my husband and my daughter in case you're wondering um, I won't be taking any money out so my end balance will be the 438 plus the 146 so I don't know what all of my start balances are going to be until March is over. So I won't fill that out, but I just wanted to do this as an example. So for Black Friday and Christmas shopping, I am putting $46 into the sinking fund. And then for B-Days, I am adding $25 a month. For my car, $42. For vacation, $84. For my dog Wiggles, which is, I do $25, and medical, I don't know, I will figure that out, whatever, I can think of a good number. Definitely, if you do a medical sinking fund, I know everyone's finances are different, but comment down below with what you guys um, put, if you don't mind sharing that, just so if I get a, several answers, I can kind of see um, a price range, and I know everyone's financial situation is different, but if you don't mind sharing. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm doing for my sinking fund, um, and... Oh, you guys are probably going to, I was going to say something about this and I just drew a blank and now I can't remember. Dang it. I hate that. I can't remember what I was just going to tell you guys something about a sinking fund. I don't know. I have no idea. So, oh, well, the thought has lost me. I guess there is nothing I got going on there. So anyways, um, that's basically how I do my sinking fund. So I know, I hope this isn't confusing. Oh, let me move that down. If you have any questions, comment down below with sinking fund or with anything, honestly, because I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, and I feel like sometimes when you try to explain things, you try to explain it the best you can. And I hope this makes, 
um, scents with Sinking Fun. And if you don't even don't even know what, I, what I'm talking about at Sinking Fun, Sinking Fund is like a non-recurring expense. So you, if you have a mortgage every month, you know you have that mortgage every single month you're gonna pay for that mortgage. Well, a Sinking Fund maybe happens quarterly or only once a year, or it's expenses you don't know when they're gonna come and hit you in the ass. Uh, for example, um, my car needed an oil change. I don't know when my car is gonna need an oil change exactly, but I know it is gonna need an oil change um, eventually. So I like to sit, put money aside for the $42, and then whenever I need the money, like I did last month for an oil change, I just take that money out. Um, and I know a lot of, I got a question a couple of times before, where do I put this money? At the very first, so April 1st of the month, I'm gonna calculate all of this, which is typically, um, what is the total of my sinking funds? Oh, it's. $368, so I would take the, well, minus the medical, because I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. So I would take the 368 on April 1st and deposit that into a savings account. And then whenever I need any of the money, at the end of the, um, probably April 1st as well, the money that I borrowed or used for the sinking funds, I will take out of the savings and put that in, into my checking, since, um, you know, my checking shouldn't have paid for it. My my sinking fund should have. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm doing with that, how I track it. Oh, I was gonna talk about my Disney annual pass. You guys are probably thinking, hold on, if you guys move to Texas this year, like you're hoping, why do you have a sinking fund for your Disney annual pass? I will tell you, we don't know if we're moving, when we're moving. So that is all an up in the air. That is just, you know, a want and a desire. So um, if we move, then obviously I'm not going to get an annual pass and all of this money I'm saving is just gonna be probably put towards moving costs and expenses. Um, however, if we don't move, then more than likely we'll get the Disney annual pass. So I hope that makes sense. But I just wanted to mention that. I'm glad I remembered what I was wanting to tell you guys in case you guys were like, hold on, what? But let me zoom out and then give you guys another quick overview. This is what the beginning of the month looks like then when I open up the page. So this is my doc grid, which is my sinking funds and my tracker for that. This is the quote page. And then it goes on into the monthly view. Again, my 52 weeks, just so I can see bills, my credit score, which I will check that on April 1st. Just major things to be looking at and be like, okay, I'm gonna probably spend money on this. And then um, my cash envelopes, and then my incoming outgoing savings, and then my bill tracker. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I did change this because I'm, you know, picky. So. Thank God for erasable pens. I just erased everything and moved it all down because it was driving me nuts and I'm a bit of a perfectionist and it looks great, right? <laughs> but keeps me sane so I am happy. But anyways, this is going to be my April budget plan with me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope I made some sense and gave some inspiration or some tips if you're doing a budget or maybe you're just starting. I am new to this. Again, it's only my fourth month of ever doing a budget. So if you have any good tips for me, if you have any comments or questions, definitely leave those down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.